What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again, and we're finally into the recap video. So I am recording this on uh, the Monday after the double painted weekend. Finally had an opportunity to let just the whole weekend uh, sink in, just everything that we did, the streams, all of the videos, the crate battles, everything that we had go on. Uh, really over the course of four days. It was a crazy, <laughs> crazy four days. I thought this would be really interesting uh, to just kind of dissect a little bit um, what we ended up doing, how many crates we ended up in, how many trade-ups we ended up doing, uh, just sincerely all the fun that we had with the streams and everything and all the videos. Um, it was just an absolute blast. You can probably tell my voice is a little more hoarse than normal <laughs> uh, just because we did a lot we just did a lot. We did a lot of recording. We, <laughs> we did a lot of streams. We did a lot of stuff. And uh, it was just an absolute blast. So I'll, I'll start by this. First and foremost, saying thank you to everybody. Really sincerely do appreciate the support. We ended up getting enough content. Uh, we did two live streams. We did a 250 PCC opening live stream. And then we just did the massive trade up uh, stream as well. Both of them were a ton of fun. Um, an absolute blast. And couldn't, couldn't say enough. Uh, for everybody, just thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for hanging out with us on those streams, making it a ton of fun. And then a huge thank you for those that uh, you know couldn't join the streams from watching all the videos. There's obviously a lot of people, a lot more people were able to join us to watch those videos, uh, you know, based on schedules and things like that. I cannot say thank you enough uh, as we look back. Again, we ended up having, we're going to end up having about 18 or so videos um, just videos alone you know as they were designed uh, or stream highlights from both the two streams which is just absolutely nuts it's absolutely insane and uh, we really hope that you guys have enjoyed the consistency with the content so I know from from recording this right now looking at the schedule finally got the schedule nailed down it's gonna be almost little over actually two weeks worth of content consistent every single day Rocket League uh, content and uh, you know up to this point the views, everything has just been phenomenal. I can't say enough. So um, thank you really sincerely to the community. We continue to grow the channel, continuing to grow our Discord, um, you know, our Twitter, I mean, our Twitch, all, all of it. All of it continues to grow, and it's a huge thanks to you guys. So um, we wouldn't have done this weekend without you. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I would have still opened some crates. I definitely would have done some of my own trade-ups. We wouldn't have gone as big uh, as we did for this weekend had it not been for all of you guys. So really sincerely thank you and uh, let, let's just jump into this. So I thought the first part that would be really interesting is we can go in and uh, let me do some recap on exactly what we opened. I've got some notes here. So um, over the course of the weekend we ended up opening 1,366 crates. That's just huge. <laughs> I've opened a lot of crates in my history uh, just with this game and with this channel. Um, more so off camera than on camera, if you can believe that. But uh, 1,300, almost, well, 13, 1,350, 1,366 crates in the course of four days is a lot. <laughs> um, is a lot. And it honestly, again, it was just thanks to you guys, thanks to the support for the channel. We could not do it without you. Um, so looking at it, breaking it down a little bit from that, we did 200 Ferocity, uh, we did 150 Nitro, we did 125 CC4, we did 25 Secret Santa and 25 Beach Blast, and then we did a total of 841 PCC. That number has jumped up a little bit uh, from what I originally had planned. Uh, honestly, mostly just because of two things. One, the Crate Battle with Sloth, which was a ton of fun although uh, ours did not go very good. <laughs> uh, and then the final PCC opening, we kind of just burned whatever keys we had left because uh, we obviously had a plenty of PCC. We still have a plenty of <laughs> PCC crates, uh, but we're definitely down from what we started with. <laughs> we're a little shy on the crates now in comparison, again, uh, to what we started the weekend off with. So that was a ton of fun for the important part. So that's a huge amount of crates, obviously. Um, the important part is when we went to go do the trade-ups, we ended up doing the following trade-ups. We ended up doing five Ferocity trade-ups. We did nine Nitro trade-ups, and these are all imports only, obviously, so 
you can back that off based on what we opened you can see how everything led up um, to really I'll say the climax of the entirety of the weekend which was the massive trade up stream um, we did uh, again five ferocity trade ups nine nitro trade ups we did eight CC4 trade ups and then What's really amazing is that we did 106 PCC trade-ups. Now, that's not only from, obviously, the crates that it, we opened. There's a lot from that. Um, but we were just taking our time very slowly and steadily um, throughout the course of the last probably two or so months, just building up a stockpile of PCC imports. Uh, we picked up a bunch when the Double Painted Weekend had been announced. And uh, I think that really helped us. So 106 PCC trade-ups at the import level. You can multiply that number out by five. That's 530 PCC imports we traded up, which is just, uh, it's just amazing. It's absolutely just amazing and uh, so much fun. That was seriously probably one of the most fun times I've had playing video games, period, uh, was getting to hang out with you guys and do all those trade-ups. And if you hung around for the entirety of the stream or even stopped in for a little bit, uh, big kudos go out to you and a big thanks um, because it, it was it really was it was a blast so here's what I want to do now I want to do a little recap uh, essentially on what we ended up picking up now uh, I tried to keep this as true as it can be uh, we're gonna see a little mix and jumble of some items here because of the uh, really because of what I ended up having to do uh, in the trade-up or the opening I had to do uh, after we did the trade-up stream but I'll give a quick breakdown uh, and just kind of run through what our haul for the weekend was, considering all the trade-ups and all the crates that we ended up opening. And uh, so here we go. Uh, we picked up a lot of Zombas. We picked up a lot of Infiniums. <laughs> uh, we picked up a lot of Dracos. And then we had a pretty good smattering of everything else. I will tell you what I ended up uh, with the weekend uh, from kind of a sets perspective. Uh, for PCC specifically, we ended up essentially getting th two sets uh, of every single wheel, so Reapers, Gaidens, and Yamains, uh, and Chakrams, we have just about, and I'm saying just about, but just about every single uh, set of these wheels times two. We have a couple of spares here and there. Uh, the Twinser and the Jaeger, we have two, just about two sets of each one of those cars. And then Lone Wolves, I didn't even get a chance to take a look. We've probably got three or four full sets of Lone Wolves built. And then a smattering, as you can see, I've got seven saffron ones. Um, so we traded up just about everything else that we possibly could. You can see from my little check marks here, I don't have any other <laughs> player's choice rares except for <laughs> lone wolves uh, to give you a little bit of an idea of how we really tried to kind of pare everything down. And again, we're pretty lean on the rest uh, of the um, of the very rare wheels. Um, so just to give everybody a little bit more context. Um, so going through, again, these are going to be a little bit spaced out, but we'll get to the chunk here. Um, we got some Zombas. We got pink. We got, we got blue. We got Turtle Lion Infiniums. You can see we did open a ton, a ton of just standard wheels over the course, uh, either of, again, of the openings or the trade-ups. We're sitting with 17 regular Zombas here, 18 regular Dracos. We've got a couple certified pairs as we go through. Uh, I think we've got about 18 Infiniums or so. Uh, as well so when you think about all the trade-ups that we did um, there's a big portion of them to be honest with you so the, there's definitely unlucky moments inside of all of the lucky moments uh, but I in my opinion the lucky moments definitely outweigh um, we did hit some pretty cool some pretty good stuff in terms of some of the imports that we ended up hanging on to um, uh, you know score titanium white comet I, I think I opened during uh, the uh, the crate battle uh, or maybe trade-ups immediately following that. Um, again, we hit a lot of Infiniums, a lot of really good colors. So we got four of the Saffron, we got two Lime. And now granted, I will say with the Zombas, I want to say I almost had a pair, uh, a single pair of each one of these. So you can kind of just minus one off of any column you see. And again, just trying to give a, an overall look at how the weekend went for us. There's some Aviator Crimson, uh, some forest green, so 19 regular pairs. Again, this is not including anything that has a cert on it. Um, again, a lot of wheels, a lot of imports. Uh, again, some cool stuff, some titanium white. 
uh, we did pretty good there. Uh, again, I did some other trade-ups off camera as well. Um, so we did some accelerator, <laughs> we did some velocity. Uh, so picked up a couple of decent things uh, beyond that. But then starting with these uh, titanium white Dracos, this is actually the end of the stream. The last item that we pulled from the trade-up stream was actually titanium white Dracos, which was just a very fitting end. And uh, here's really the nuts and bolts of how we did for the weekend. So three pairs of these titanium white Dracos, absolutely insane. The BS gang gang out there, <laughs> we got a couple of BS wheels for you. It includes these Zambas. We ended up picking up not not only three, but actually four pairs. And we'll get to the fourth pair of titanium white Zambas here in a minute. One of them being CC4. These are the three pairs that we picked up. You guys, if you watch the 250 PCC opening stream, we actually created our first one. And during our trade-ups, we ended up getting two more, a regular pair and a pair of goalkeeper white. Um, which is just phenomenal. It totally blew my expectations away. Um, I honestly didn't think, wasn't sure if we were going to actually be able to create these through the course of the weekend, and we ended up getting the one. And then to be able to trade up and get two of them on top of three titanium white <laughs> Dracos and two pairs of titanium white Infiniums just goes to show you um, honestly how crazy it was and uh, how much fun it was. So rolling through here, I don't really have to go through everything, but you guys can kind of just see uh, these are big pickups. We got a couple. <laughs> we also got let down three times, <laughs> if not more, uh, actually, uh, during the course of this. But three gray Dracos, uh, goalkeeper, titanium white, infiniums. This is the second of two pairs of these that we ended up picking up. Um, you guys can just see it's just. It's throughout. Again, I think we had one pair of these prior to all of the openings and the and everything that we did. Um, but the rest of the Dracos we really didn't have much else beyond that. I mean, two pairs of crimson. We got the forest green. We got the pink. We got saffron. Uh, we got cert versions of a lot of stuff. Um, we got a, a couple more <laughs> letdowns in gray. We got the infamous striker gray <laughs> Zambas. That uh, if you didn't watch the the, the stream for the trade ups or the highlights. Uh, you need to go check that out. Uh, me and Sloth have a little bit of bad blood <laughs> uh, designed around these. Just kidding. We're, we're good. But uh, he did pretty much call these, which is uh, really hilarious, actually, when we go to look at it. And I'm not mad because we ended up picking up some white ones. <laughs> uh, second pair of the titanium white Infiniums. Uh, I mean, again, you can just roll through. Here's our CC4 trade-ups, which was actually... Um, Interesting. I would say successful. It was pretty neat. We got a couple pairs of Auras. We did pick up titanium one of those. Uh, we got some other pairs of Zambas. Again, BS gang gang out there. <laughs> we hooked you up with both CC4 wheels, Playmaker, Burnt Sienna, and <laughs> Auras. Um, so that's all for you guys. We did a bunch of Nitro trade-ups. Um, Nitro trade-ups didn't go terrible-ish, <laughs> I guess. We did get the Grey Dracos. We got Cobalt K2s. Um, the Ferocities actually went pretty good. We got these uh, Crimson Pyros, we got the Sniper Gray, and then we got the Cobalt, which was pretty neat. So out of the five trade-ups we did, this was probably our best ratio. Uh, we got two unpainted, if you will, three painted, uh, and some pretty good paints on them with a couple of certs in there. Uh, as we roll through again, these are just a lot of the, uh, the openings and things like that. Picked up a Solar Flare. Um, here is, again, a bunch of my off-camera trade-ups that we did. We had a bunch of Golden Pumpkin, Victory. Interestingly enough, got Crimson Striker Ball Caras. Um, we got Gray Clockworks, the Green Chronos, some Equalizers, a, a pair of Sky Blue Golden Pumpkin, <laughs> um, some, some Kalos here, Black Photons is kind of neat from the Golden Egg. Uh, same thing with Crimson Volts. This was a pretty solid pickup. Uh, again, I wish I would have done some of these on camera, but... It is what it is, uh, Saffron Discotex. Uh, again, throughout the course of the openings, we actually did, in my opinion, pretty pretty neat uh, on the uh, the Frosties. We ended up picking up uh, pretty cool pairs of Asics. We got a couple of Titanium White Distros, which is really neat. Actually did really well in that regard for the bodies. Um, again, some other trade-ups off-camera uh, for some other things. We ended up doing pretty well in Titanium White Cars for whatever. Um, as we roll through, you guys know, we ended up picking up three pair, three dissolvers, actually four dissolvers, uh, two of them, I take that back, actually five dissolvers, <laughs> uh, three of them, two of them being cert, a struggler, a struggler, 
well, a striker and a juggler. You guys can see how tired I am <laughs> from this weekend. Um, uh, we did some other Secret Santa. We finally, we did get ourselves a pair of Burnt Santa Wonderments, uh, Lime Cruxes. You guys saw if you took a look at that episode. We got a four screen solar flare. Again, here are here is our CC4 opening. So Cobalt, Zombas, Pink, and Orange Auras. And then, of course, our fourth pair of Titanium White Zombas. This one was absolutely nuts. Our openings uh, were just fantastic uh, for those. So that was just a ton of fun. Again, you guys can see some of the Nitro stuff that we picked up. We did pick up two pairs of Nitro Titanium White Dracos as well. <laughs> so we're sitting, uh, we're sitting pretty good when it comes to those. We got Paragon Titanium White and then the standard pair you can see here. Uh, we picked up a Sweeper Mainframe. We picked up a couple of those. Lime and Crimson K2s. Uh, a Playmaker Titanium White Twinser, which is really cool. Uh, again, we did really well in, in terms of the bodies. Uh, this was during the uh, PCC opening stream. We picked up the Striker Dissolver, which is just, again, absolutely nuts. Here's our first of the two um, Ferocity openings. One thing we are missing from here is a Striker Orange. Striker Orange or Striker Cobalt, uh, I believe, uh, Zowies. We ended up doing a quick trade of those uh, before we got on. But Titanium White A6, you guys can just kind of see. Uh, overall, we did really, really well. Picked up a mainframe here. Uh, we picked up Cobalt Dracos during one of the openings. Uh, so they were Striker Orange because here's, this was actually the second opening for the Ferocities, excuse me. This was the first. Uh, we picked up Striker Orange and Striker Cobalt <laughs> uh, in the course of that opening, which was really, really neat. We did also pick up Titanium White Pyros. So uh, honestly, I mean, so good. I, I can't, i really trying not to brag. I'm trying to be very humble about this, but our luck was just absolutely insane over the course of this weekend here's the juggler dissolver that we picked up and uh i want to say right there is where we finished it yep because this hex tide was uh the last um the last ferocity opening uh or a couple of the last ferocity openings we did before we started into the weekend we picked up a couple crates wow uh, a couple crates uh before uh we did it so again just giving you a quick scroll through just a fantastic weekend um so much fun so so much fun uh just a blast but you guys can see uh there's a lot of wins in here there's definitely a lot of wins uh there's a lot of really neat items that we ended up picking up um you know to answer the question that i know will come up um would i do this again 100 uh would i recommend you doing it in hopes of getting some of these when you really boil it down and think about it again we opened up 1366 crates uh we did uh again a hundred and thirty ish close to that if not a little over 130 ish uh, import trade-ups for for the different crates that we did pcc cc4 nitro Firo, and a couple of others that we had inside of it um you know looking back on it and what those items would probably have traded for those imports alone um, I don't know. It's hard to say if we made any profit, if you will. I mean, the titanium white wheels that we ended up picking up between the Zambas. I mean, we got four pairs of Zambas. We got five pairs of titanium white Dracos, two pairs of uh, Infiniums. To be honest, that doesn't even come close to what we put into just to open the crates. Um, and then obviously there's a whole lot of other stuff. So it's going to be really hard to tell. Um, I'm sitting at just a couple of keys left at this point. So we're really going to go into trade mode to see... Uh, how we can do to, again, kind of recoup some of those keys uh, and and what we can turn in uh, for a lot of the items that we picked up. Was it profitable? Probably not, to be really honest, to be really fair just looking at it. Uh, but again, not about, for me, not about the profit. It's about the experience, about the fun, honestly, of being able to do that and then share it with you guys. Um, so just want to give a quick recap. Uh, it was nuts. It really was. Thank you so very much for the support. I cannot say that enough for me and Sloth. We had an absolute blast. So much fun. Uh, we'll probably take a little bit of a hiatus from crate openings, <laughs> to be honest with you, for a little while. Uh, they're not going to completely go away. I still think I want to do some more ferocity open, 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 a ton of fun, and there's a lot of really cool stuff inside of that. Um, but in terms of this, we've really hit our goal. Uh, my goal from the outset, really when we started to open all the PCCs, was to crate titanium white zombies i really want to do it obviously again i could have just bought them <laughs> uh, but 
that moment of being able to do that, especially on stream, uh, was so much fun. I will never get rid of that pair uh, of Zombas, 100%. I will, I will hang on to them for a very long time. And, uh, and then on top of that, to be able to open all the other just amazing items that we did uh, and share those experiences between the CC4 opening, between the trade-ups, um, I mean, I could not have asked, honestly, for, for more. So um, well, I'll wrap up with that. Just thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. We've got a lot of other content, Rocket League, Apex, whatever else we're playing uh, that we've got going on in the channel. We're going to continue to work uh, on and uh, get more opportunities to stream because we really, really do enjoy hanging out with you. So, uh, again, I'll put the shameless plug at the bottom. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of the weekend after you got a chance to look at Hopefully view all of the videos. If you haven't, go take a look at some of them uh, because, honestly, a lot of really cool moments inside of that. And uh, look forward to, again, hanging out with you guys in some future streams. Links for all that is in the description below. Again, we've got our Twitch, our Twitter, uh, our Discord. Feel free to hop over there hang out with us a little bit. Uh, Xbox Average Gamer Guys Club as well. And uh, just want to say thanks. Close out by saying I'm Doc from Average Gamer Guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.